pastry and pies. The lesson objectives are to identify key pastry ingredients, their functions, ratio, and how to prepare types of pastries. Pastry is made of a layered or flaky dough that can be used to make a variety of breads, desserts, and of course, pie crusts. Types of pie pastry crusts. A pie shell has crust that is docked or pricked with a fork, baked separately and filled later. Examples are banana, chocolate, and coconut cream. A single crust pie has a bottom crust and filling that is baked together. Examples are pecan, pumpkin, quiche, and sweet potato pies. A double crust pie has a bottom crust. The filling and top crust are baked together. Examples are apple, berry, rhubarb, and pot pie. Pastry ingredients and their function. Flour provides structure. Salt gives flavor. Cold fat, shortening, lard, butter, or oil provides tenderness, and cold liquid gives moisture. Note, oil and hot water pastry are options that produce a variation of a pastry crust. Making the pastry dough. Flaky pastry relies on being cold, 40 degrees Fahrenheit fat, ice water, and even chilled flour if needed. Basic pie crust is called 3-2-1 dough. The weight of ingredients is a ratio of three parts flour plus two parts cold fat and one part ice cold water. Measure flour and salt into a mixing bowl. Put the solid fat into the bowl also. Use a pastry blender to cut in the fat, making coarse crumbs. Use a fork to toss the flour while gradually adding cold water. Did you know pie pastry is best made with a soft or lower protein flour made from soft red or white wheat? The flour mixture begins to cling together as the water is added. Use your hands to form dough into a soft but not sticky ball. If doing other steps before you will roll out dough, flatten into a one inch thick disc, wrap and chill until rolling. Rolling the dough into a pie crust. Flatten the dough with your hands. Flour the surface, both sides of the dough and the rolling pin or roll between two pieces of waxed or parchment paper from the center outward. Pick up the rolling pin and return to the center to roll again. Avoid rolling back and forth over the dough. Maintain a circle shape. Rustic pies or galettes. Make a pie without a pie plate using an oven proof plate or pizza pan, lined with parchment or foil. Roll dough about 13 to 14 inches in diameter. Fill with fresh or frozen fruit mixed with a little flour and sugar as the recipe directs. Fold up the edges to hold filling. See how at biggerboldbaking.com. There's an extra recipe for a brown sugar peach galette at chsugar.com. Putting the crust into the pie pan. Fold the crust in half, pick up the dough at the fold and place it across the diameter of the pie plate. Unfold the dough covering the entire pan. Avoid stretching the dough. The type of pie pan matters. Glass pie plates will yield a less soggy crust with the best crust color. Heavy aluminum pie pans are next best, but avoid lightweight disposable aluminum pans. Ceramic and cast iron pans may be used, but expect a darker bottom crust. Check out homebaking.org visuals to find out more. Why bake with glass? It's dependable. It bakes evenly, retains heat, so it keeps food warmer longer and cleans easily. It's durable. Glass will not warp or stain. It's versatile. Bake, serve, and store. Clear glass allows you to see what is baking. And glass versus metal bakeware retains moisture better than metal. Learn more about pans at homebaking.org. Making a pie shell. Prepare the dough, roll dough one to two inches larger than the inverted pie pan. Fold dough in half and force. Put dough in pie plate, unfold, drop, cut off to within one half inch overhang, fold under, crimp edge, prick or dock with a fork and bake. Cream and meringue pies. Cream pies are made by preparing a cooked filling and pouring it into baked pie shell. They can be topped with whipped cream after baking. Meringue pies are made by topping the cooked filling with a mixture of egg whites, vanilla, and sugar, then baking to brown the meringue. 
For higher volume whip, whipping cream, use chilled bowl, cream, and beaters. For higher volume meringue, use room temperature egg whites. Try a brown sugar or chocolate whipped cream too. Find the recipe at chsugar.com. You can also go to dominosugar.com or find out more tips on making the perfect meringue. Preparing a double crust pie. This double a single crust pie recipe, roll dough one to two inches larger than the inverted pie plate, fold dough in half, then force. Put dough into a pie plate, unfold, drop, fill with filling. Prepare the top crust, fold into force, cut evenly spaced slits about eight in a top crust for the seam to escape. Dot the pie filling with butter. Brush the edge of the bottom crust with water to improve seal. Add the top crust. Pinch the top and bottom crust or use the tines of a fork to create a fluted or decorative edge that is sealed. Remove extra crust and bake. Finishing the pie. The top crust can be glazed by brushing with cream, milk, or egg wash and sprinkling with granulated golden raw or coarse sugar. Cut vents in the top of the pie to allow steam to escape. Strips of aluminum foil around the edge of a double crusted pie will prevent excessive browning. Um, you can find more about types of sugar at sugar.org. Lattice crust is made by rolling out the top crust of the pie, cutting it into strips one half inch wide, laying part of the strips across the pie filling spaced one half inch apart, and then weaving the remaining strips over and under the first strips. Flute the edges. A tart is a plain or puff pastry dish, usually filled with a sweet filling. It is most often open without a top crust. Breakfast tarts are also a popular handheld tart. You can find more recipes at dominosugar.com. Puff pastries. The roll-in dough method is used in making puff pastries. Dough must be rolled, folded, rolled again, layered with butter, refolded, and re-rolled numerous times to create a very flaky product. Billow dough consists of paper thin shifts up sheets of pastry. As it bakes, the layers separate into delicate sheets. Shoe dough is made by combining liquid butter, flour, and eggs into a smooth batter. This mixture is dropped or piped into individual servings and baked for eclairs and cream puffs. You can find step-by-step -step directions at hudsoncream.com. Find out more great baking recipes and resources for pastry at homebaking.org.